Humanity stands at the brink of an unprecedented era in warfare, not due to the refinement of laser weaponry or the development of cloaking devices, but rather due to the rapid progress of artificial intelligence. This advancement has ushered in a new generation of weapons and platforms capable of not only identifying and targeting humans, but also autonomously making the decision to end their lives. Known officially as Lethal Autonomous Weapon Systems, laws, colloquially dubbed, Killer Robots, these innovations have garnered substantial investment from major nations such as the United States, China, and Russia. While most nations have refrained from deploying such technologies, Russia recently unveiled its own killer robots, causing global unease. Russia's introduction of its killer robots, amid ongoing conflicts such as the one in Ukraine, has intensified discussions regarding the ethical and strategic implications of autonomous drones in warfare. Both Moscow and Kiev have utilized unmanned drones in combat, prompting debates among experts, activists, and diplomats worldwide regarding the advantages and risks associated with autonomous weaponry. Amidst these debates, Russia's announcement of its robot army, led by the humanoid robot called Fedor, has drawn particular attention. Originally designed for space exploration, Fedor's ability to mimic remote operator movements and autonomously engage in activities, such as dual-handed shooting has sparked controversy and resulted in sanctions on foreign suppliers. Despite these setbacks, the developers of Fedor have persevered, adapting to domestic alternatives to continue the robot's evolution. Since its inception in 2014 and public debut in 2016, Fedor has showcased a wide range of capabilities, from mundane tasks like using keys and operating fire extinguishers to more complex actions like driving cars and crawling on all fours, underscoring the rapid advancement of autonomous technology in modern warfare. Fedor has made remarkable strides, surpassing mere achievements to accomplish extraordinary feats such as performing both traverse and longitudinal splits, thereby setting a world record. Standing at an impressive 180 centimeters and weighing a robust 105 to 106 kilograms, Fedor commands attention as a formidable presence. However, Fedor isn't the sole standout in the realm of robotic innovation. At the 2022 Army Arms Exhibition in Moscow, a new contender emerged in the form of a robotic dog armed with a grenade launcher, developed by a Russian company. This canine-inspired creation exhibits impressive shooting accuracy and capabilities for weapons transportation. Beyond military applications, it can be deployed for tasks like reconnaissance, navigating debris, and delivering essential medical supplies during emergencies. While this robot dog excels in various roles, skepticism looms over its originality, with the United States suggesting it may be a replica of a Chinese counterpart, the Unitree A1 robot from Unitree Robotics. This suspicion is further fueled by similarities and the use of fabric draping to obscure the M81's true origins. Looking ahead, Russia has ambitious plans to develop an avatar robot within the next decade. Unlike traditional robots, this futuristic machine is designed with the potential to replace soldiers on the battlefield, available in either anthropomorphic or non-anthropomorphic forms. These avatars are envisioned to possess functional capabilities comparable to humans, capable of interacting independently with human infrastructure, traversing rough terrain, providing first aid, and operating vehicles. While Russia pioneers these advancements, it's plausible that other nations, such as the United States or China, may lead in implementing such groundbreaking technologies on a global scale. Russia's innovation extends beyond avatars, with the introduction of humanoid robots in 2015 capable of shooting and driving vehicles. These robots, controlled by an operator nearby, signify a leap forward in autonomous combat capabilities. However, while Russia demonstrates prowess in robotics, it faces stiff competition from other nations. For instance, the Urana 9, one of the world's most powerful ground-based drones, holds a prominent position for its firepower. Resembling an infantry fighting vehicle, the Urana 9 measures approximately 4.5 meters in length, 2 meters in width, and weighs a formidable 10 tons, akin to the Terminator of the drone world, with unparalleled firepower and resilience. This formidable machine is armed with a 30mm automatic cannon paired with a 7.62mm machine gun, but its arsenal doesn't stop there. It also features launchers equipped with 9M anti-tank missiles on both sides of the turret, 
with the option to replace them with anti-aircraft missiles if necessary, providing formidable air defense capabilities. Additionally, six reactive flamethrowers are positioned at the rear of the turret, showcasing its robust offensive capabilities. The Uran 9 stands out in the world of unmanned combat vehicles, boasting firepower that outmatches its Western counterparts. It has proven its capabilities in real combat operations in Syria, although the specifics of its performance in the conflict remain somewhat elusive. While the US, UK, France, and other countries focus on developing combat robots to reduce human casualties on the battlefield, Russia has been catching up in this arena. With the introduction of the Urana 9, they have closed the technological gap significantly, rapidly advancing towards robotic supremacy. Another notable addition is the armored track vehicle, Cernic, designed for diverse tasks ranging from reconnaissance and patrolling to demoning and territorial defense. This versatile combat robot operates in three control modes and boasts a top speed of up to 40 km per hour, offering flexibility and agility in various battlefield scenarios. Moreover, Russia has introduced the Norector and Marker, both designed to fulfill a wide range of battlefield tasks while minimizing risks to human soldiers. The Norector combat robot operates under a single control system, remotely operated by a human operator or accompanied on the front line. Equipped with a combat module, it can execute tasks such as reconnaissance, adjusting fire on enemy positions, and delivering ammunition and supplies to hotspots. On the other hand, the Marker Combat Robot is a small tracked robotic platform with impressive capabilities, capable of traveling long distances, carrying heavy loads, and evacuating the wounded in both battlefield and urban environments. With these advanced robotic systems, Russia possesses the capability to disrupt the battlefield without exposing its soldiers to harm. This development raises significant concerns for Western military powers, signaling a shift in the balance of power and prompting questions about the future of warfare. Before we delve into dystopian scenarios where humanity is at the mercy of robot overlords, let's pause to reflect on the implications of this technological advancement. On one hand, employing robots for the grim tasks of warfare could potentially reduce human casualties. After all, if robots take the forefront in combat, fewer soldiers are exposed to harm or worse. It's a compelling argument. Who wouldn't want to minimize the human toll of conflict? However, on the flip side, there are substantial concerns to address. Firstly, there's the matter of accountability. When human soldiers make decisions in battle, there's a sense of moral and ethical responsibility attached to their actions. But when it's a robot executing commands, who bears the blame if something goes awry? Moreover, who ensures that these robots make morally sound decisions in the first place? Then there's the issue of escalation. If one party begins deploying robot armies, what's to prevent others from doing the same? It sets the stage for a perilous game of technological one-upmanship, potentially leading to catastrophic consequences. We risk being caught in an endless cycle of robot warfare, each side striving to outmatch the other with increasingly advanced machines. Furthermore, there's the looming specter of misuse. While deploying combat-ready robots in controlled military environments might seem manageable, the thought of such technology falling into the wrong hands is alarming. Consider the scenario where terrorist organizations or rogue states acquire advanced military robots. It's a chilling prospect. So, where do we go from here? How do we navigate this brave new world of robot armies and autonomous weapons? It begins with earnest discussions about regulations and oversight. We cannot afford to let technology run rampant without proper checks and balances in place. Clear guidelines are needed regarding the deployment of these robots, along with mechanisms for holding individuals or entities accountable when things inevitably go awry. What are your thoughts on this? We welcome your insights in the comment section below.